Mario. What is up, my friends, and welcome back to Uncensored. And guys, today we have the most dudes we've ever had in this whole apartment. This is a fucking this is a sausage fest right now. Okay. Yeah. Um, we have two guests. They're amazing. They are both absolute heartthrobs. They're both actors, right? And they're both yeah. on this couch right now. So give it up for Jake Hobbs and Zach Afron. Hey! Let's go. Let's fucking go. Hey! Hey! Yo. <laughs> Thank you for having us. Yeah. Of course. Thank you. I googled you this morning. Long Me. and hard, especially. You hard. see my huddle reels? No, <laughs> like no my but highlights? I googled. You know, I found some. Like, I try to research you a little bit. Okay. And when I saw your photos, you do look like do look like Zach Afron. Do you see it? Uh who are these motherfuckers? You haven't even told me. Like, you didn't even brief me today. This is the first time you haven't briefed me, bro. Or you don't know anything about these guys? No. I picked them up on the street. I saw them outside. I was like, hey, guys, I'm going to make you a star. And they were, you know, from Ohio, young, struggling, struggling okay. actors. And they just, they just came up here. You know? I mean, just I see research. It. I see it, but I'm just, I want you to tell me who they are. No, what, what do we mean? You guys tell the story. All right, let's flash back. We were, uh, we are coaches at F45 training in West Hollywood here. And Mario came in one day. He said, Hey, I just moved to the area. He's like, you guys are cool. A cool dynamic duo. And then now here we are. It was a really short that's story, but yeah, that's, that's, that's spot yeah. on how it works. Yeah, that's what happened, yeah. But I think I met you before. Yeah, we met through uh, a couple times through Kevin. Yeah, through yeah. Kevin, like photographers. So yeah. wait, you guys, the, what, do, what do you guys do? You're F45 trainers, but you guys are like, you must be some of the best looking trainers. Yeah. Like, do they only hire models there or what's the deal at <laughs> F45? That's uh, that's something that's been talked about and stuff. Uh, yeah. I believe someone, our, our manager was talking about people came up to him and they were like, yo, what are your requirements to be a trainer? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So I guess it's the word around the street, but there's Jake and Zach. You yeah. know? <laughs> Jake and Zach. Jake and Zach. Zach. Just Jake and Zach, Zach, Zach and Jake. Yeah. Wait, was you guys are you guys are roommates too? Yes. Yep. You guys been, related at all? No. Not that we know of. No, but wow. we, I don't think we, so. met, we met three years ago on a backpacking photo shoot. A we backpacking just, yeah, photo shoot. We were just hiking. We lit, <laughs> it was just literally Yosemite. Yeah. We just uh, we met up. There were like four other models with us. We went to Yosemite and then just walked around the woods. Like looked over your shoulder. <laughs> yeah, I was like you. Yeah, yeah I was with. You. I, Did you see that? Yeah, <laughs> Do it I, again. the guy. I wasn't on the job originally, but someone that I knew got me on the job with him. That's then, so, so funny. It was oh just me and this dude that I knew because I lived in the South Bay for a while. I lived in yeah. Mimosa, and we. I didn't know Zach at the time. We just. The but the three of us became like <laughs> best friends off this. Like we talked about Taco Bell and you talked about any, Taco like Bell? everything. Yeah. Then oh, it was yeah. just like, we talked about cr like breakfast crunch wraps. You had one. I have no oh, idea what you're talking about. I'm oh, German man. too. So oh, okay. enlighten me. What's a country break truck? A breakfast, <laughs> <What>? breakfast <laughs> crunch wrap. <laughs> your ability to speak. It is. You know what crunch wrap supreme? Uh, no, bro. You don't have know. Have you been to Taco Bell? Yeah. <laughs> so here's one thing about Taco Bell. <laughs> I grew up in Germany. Okay. Okay. So I had my first taco. When I was 22 years old at Coachella Music Festival. That's such an LA girl thing to say too. <laughs> at Coachella Music Festival. But then after that, I went to Taco Bell shortly after. Yeah. And I've been to Taco Bell twice in my life. And both times I've had disturbing stomach issues. So I've yeah, kind of stayed away from Taco Bell. Yeah. yeah, That's part of their quota. Oh, oh my God. Yes. Look, at it. Breakfast look at how good that looks. Yeah. Yeah, Did that we looks, have that on set? That, that that looks pretty good. Yeah, I've, I've so do you crafted. want me to describe this for you? So you bonded over that? Yeah, absolutely. So like I didn't <laughs> it know. Was weird. You can tell because it's yeah. like weird at first. Basically, he he had a friend there at the time. Okay. And like I was like, and let me describe the first time I met Jake. It was four in the morning. Mm -hmm. I was already picked up by the weird DP. I'm sitting in the front seat, tired as hell. Jake and his friend both tested. I mean, look at Jake. Yeah. Model dude gets in the back seat with his testosterone friend. And I'm sure. sitting in the front seat. <laughs> I kid you not. He gets in the back. I'm like, I turn around. He's like, what's up? My name's Jake. And like, I remember. I, I remember not have that kind of voice. It, but it was super tired. deep. And I remember sitting in the front seat. I was like, this is going to be the worst weekend of my life. And so I turned around. I said, what's up? My name's Zach. And I lowered my voice. <laughs> and I was, I was going to be the most dude, dude version of myself that entire weekend. And I was going to hate every second of it. But then. I put, we walked up and we said, you guys ever had a breakfast crunch wrap? And then from there. Yeah. So then you bonded over yeah, there? It was, that it was, was, <laughs> I think, what was it, four days? And, and then you dropped the masculinity? Four days, that's all we yeah. talked about, breakfast okay. crunch wraps. About and then you were like, oh, I love crunch wraps yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> we should give crunch wraps. Yeah, but then it was four days. We started in Malibu and 
Right. Malibu. And then we went all the way up the coast to like, yeah. so we stopped in Solvang, which is, have you been there? It's like a Dutch no. town. It's uh, no, I I know, like a, it, bottom lines. I know nothing. <laughs> Ask me any question. I know nothing about anything. <laughs> okay. Anything it's, American really. I don't know nothing about. It's yeah. A yeah. Dutch town where everyone just gets together for Dutch festivals. Has yeah. like, oh. It's crazy. It's like a wine country kind of deal. That's cool. Yeah. 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 And that was, well, the yeah, we went up, experience. yeah, went up there, cut, stopped in San Jose and then went to Yosemite for like and did three you start, days. Did you start dating shortly after that or? We talked about it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I played hard to get. So. It yeah. sounds like. Naturally. Yeah. <laughs> he likes other breakfast crunch traps. Yeah. So we, we he he it likes bacon. And I like the steak. Yeah. So it didn't work out Wait, for so us. It didn't work yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't work out. At Wait. First. Somebody told me Taco Bell that the meat grated equivalent to dog food. Mm. Is yes. this an urban legend? Mm. That is correct. What do you have to say as, re- as representatives Not of Taco right. Bell right now? I can't I, believe it. I've, heard, I've heard these rumors. Okay. It tastes good. Okay, I like to like I like to think it's real meat, and ignore what the public says. Rumors, yeah. Hey, yeah. Well, listen, prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Yeah, stay in the matrix. Right. You're yeah, like exactly. a red pillar, yeah, right? Relax. What's it called? Blue pillar. What's the end pillar, stuff? Red pill. Red well, pill. if you, if you want to live in the matrix, you know, and and, and ignorance yeah. is bliss. You want to enjoy the steak. Eat you don't the dog care food. how it's made. You yeah, know, eat the dog food. Yeah, that's, that's what that's I do <laughs> every single time in the matrix. <laughs> Wait, how do you guys? Okay, because you guys are trainers, and I've yeah. I've googled you again, mm. long and hard, and. I saw some, you guys are both ripped, right? How how does that prove it? How does that <laughs> <laughs> prove no. it? Pro, no, how does that equate though? How, what's your diet like? Because Taco Bell, you know, I thought I thought male models, you know, would not indulge in any of yeah. these, you know, uh, peasantly <laughs> peasantly rich. Um, <laughs> rich. Honestly, I well, I, I feel like I don't eat very well at all. I'm just gonna be honest. I eat like shit. But oh wow. I, I do, I kind of do it uh, strategically. Like I do like oh. intermittent fasting. Okay. Cause I've, once I figured out how, I saw this guy, his name's um, Greg O'Gallagher. Yeah, you yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did like the whole, um, what's called Greek body, yeah, Hollywood body Hollywood, thing. Hollywood, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the movie yeah. star yeah. body shape or whatever that yeah, was yeah. called. But <laughs> I, like, I, I saw that a few, like years ago, probably five or six years ago. And yeah. then I was like, oh, this is bullshit. Like, how, and not that intermittent fasting is like the magic pill to get, but it, it's always helped me. I just, cause I'm not super hungry in the morning, so I don't yeah. eat breakfast and then yeah, skip meal or skip my first meal and then go to like Taco Bell. Yeah. Go straight to Taco Bell, <laughs> getting like breakfast. Like 16, eight. Eight. Well, no, but I just, I think holding off on that first meal, it was just, has always helped me get like, my other calories like later in the day. So I just, I track my okay. calories. I just try yeah. to eat. I'm very He's super like, serious about that. Yeah. I'm not, I'm pretty. So you track them, but you just not, eat shit, but like still track the yeah, calories. Yeah. yeah. Cool, I'll look, cool. I'll look it up. Like if I going to go have a breakfast country, up, I'll see how many calories I'm not, I'm not too into macros, even though I know that's super important. Okay. Like you get really dialed in, but I just really look at the calories and so interesting. Like, yeah. So I just, Dude. I I won't eat sometimes like all day until like Man. later in the evening. Yeah. So, Definitely, it just, it's always it. helped me stay. I was gonna stay say, in, yeah. every time he says something exciting, you flex your teeth. I know, I've been watching, yeah, yeah, I've been watching that the whole time. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Honestly, every time oh, I get excited, oh, intermittent like fasting. whenever <laughs> I <laughs> you, you have a tell, I'm like Don't a dog, show. you know, when I wiggle my tail, when yeah. I get excited yeah. 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 about something, I'm just like start bouncing my titties. That's what happens. Sorry. That's wild, though, because like you know, you mm. think models because there's a lot of female models I met. They eat like shit because they don't have to like be healthy really. It's more about just like being very skinny. Yeah. So they would eat like, you know, in Milan, they would have like a cocaine cigarette type of diet, you know. Cocaine for like fresh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Been there. Must be nice, bro, because you're like, you know, I just have these alpha genetics, you know, I just eat crap and well, have an eight pack of <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I will I sometimes I obviously there's days where I go over, but I really try it like to stay at a certain like caloric. Do you feel rate. so do you feel pressure about because your looks are important, right? With modeling and acting and everything you yeah, do. Because I had like, when I was actively modeling, which I'm kind of not doing that anymore, I was so like, I would beat myself up. Yeah, yeah. I would eat like something that's not 100% healthy. I'd be like, fuck, fuck man, yeah. I'm gonna lose an like app. Yeah. I'm gonna like lose that. one app tomorrow, one app less. Yeah. yeah, and I feel like that's so normal out here though. For yeah. people to like, they put so much pressure on. Like, I'm sure women, women is the same thing, but like, yeah. guys will go to the gym for two or three hours a day to like focus on this like casting or job. It's yeah. Like, it's just like, I think I just, my opinion is just life's too fucking short to not enjoy food or just yeah, not yeah, enjoy yeah. some things like time yeah. to time, you know? And so I'll be in the gym maybe three or four times a day in order to make up for the food. Okay. That I got eat you. For. Got you. So I work out yeah. to eat, which I know is a horrible mentality. I know. So what do you eat before? So do you, do you eat something bad and then you're like, fuck. And then you run to the gym and you fucking beat yourself or, yeah, up on the or, treadmill. Or, so you, it's, I hate that. You feel like guilty. 
Oh, for sure. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. And I feel like now it's changed so much because I'm going to tell you my story real quick and then Jeff can share his because it's very simple. Um, for me, it's the opposite. I'm yeah. exactly the opposite. For me, diet is everything. So I'm always <clears throat> fucking, I was crazy about my diet. I, I didn't have pizza for eight years of my life. Jeez. I just, for the first time, now I'm doing more stand-up comedy. I was in New York two weeks ago and I, I was so hungry. We did shows all week and I had, to, I had to host another show for two hours and there was nothing on the menu except for a pizza. And I ate a quarter of a pizza, but I only ate the cheese. But that for me is like, that is insane. Like yeah, I yeah. was on the level where I would eat only like carrots, tuna. I was like crazy with Damn. my diet. Like and I wouldn't even chicken work out that. Yeah, rice, like, yeah. And I wouldn't even work out that much, but I would eat very healthy. More so because I feel like when I eat healthy, I feel more focused and less anxious. Yeah. So that's, that's definitely a big point. What's healthy? Yeah, well, that's a good point. I think for me, nothing processed. So yeah. basically no grains, more... You know, like yeah. meat, actually, more vegetables, less, you know, yeah. less yeah. processed stuff. Can we, yeah, we, you go ahead. Like, I grew up in Ohio. That's yeah. all we ate. I kid you not, like my family, uh, I mean, my mom and dad, they would cook, or mom mainly would cook, dad occasionally for Christmas. But yeah. other than that, like every day it was like Wendy's, McDonald's for lunch or dinner, yeah. and then we'd have pizza. We'd have all oh, this. You would actually eat fast food Tennessee, all the time. And, uh, That's why I'm from Oklahoma. So it, it's very, Oklahoma? Very similar, yeah. You could just listen to some more Joe Rogan, bro. Eat that steak. Like, yeah, I, mean, I just saw it like goes to show. I don't eat processed shit every meal. Yeah. I think, yeah, I, I yeah. think yeah. It, we <laughs> eat it. It's not I think, I think <laughs> we're, 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 yeah. we're like, like just clear, clear, clear. listen yeah. to my agent. I just want to let yeah. you know if you're watching right now. I just want to make that clear. I don't eat like shit every meal. but. Stuff in our yeah, head. but we, yeah, yeah. I do yeah. eat like lean, like tur like ground turkey and rice or chicken yeah, yeah. for you know during the week. But definitely, like we like to dabble. Like yeah. you get those cravings yeah, dabble, that we like. Yeah, yeah we definitely something. let ourselves go at certain points. <laughs> we we like exactly indulge. Yeah, yeah, indulge in yeah. six <laughs> tenders and four <laughs> four pieces of toast. <laughs> Hell yeah, <laughs> five sauces. Absolutely, yeah. Oh so my god. What, do what about like supplements or PEDs? Do you guys you know? As I get older, I'm thinking about, do I need that extra testosterone hit? Mm, mm, mm. What's the drawback to doing it? How are your erections? Yeah. How are they? Yeah. They're erect. Prove it. Good. <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> We're done. We're kicked off. No, because that's like low testosterone is like a lot of people. Like, I, I rest yeah. of is definitely dropping. That will man, kill, right? that was kill the, your testosterone, yeah. Yeah. your sex drive, everything. Dude, that's I like, feel so yeah. much pressure. Like my hairdresser, Alon. And I see a lot of people like, I see... I see a lot of people who I met this comedian who I won't name. His name is Josh, a uh, very big comedian. But I was like, I met him and he's like, I, I want to say 50. Yeah. But the dude, because he's on a little bit of like that testo, he's oh, got yeah. that like, he did, he did comedy. He's one of the best comedians in the game. I saw him in New York doing comedy. I could not, I could not look at him because his bicep vein was just, just a for fucking pop, his body. Just, yeah. bulging. Yeah. It was just like fucking great. And I want that. You want <laughs> the Because yeah. right? you know, I have, to, I have to work so much to, to yeah. get that. But a little bit of that testosterone, you just have that, like, no. just that, like, no, it's like that, that, yeah. that liver king. Just a little bit of liver just king. Just yeah. Yeah. eat liver, dude. <laughs> he's, he's clean. He's clean. He's, he's confirmed. He's it. Just prove that. Yeah. Watch his Snapchat. He says, "I'm clean." Yeah. yeah. If you if you were gonna if you were eating a little bit less of the taco crunchy uh, America do rolls <laughs> and a little bit more liver, I am maybe your erections would be right better now, and your girlfriend would be happier. Taco right? Bell just bell saying. Bell. Just saying. Done eating. Come here. You can try some. Can try some. Try some. Try some dog. Bone marrow. Bone marrow. Bone marrow. Bone marrow. Bone marrow. Mm. I feel so fit. Okay. Okay. See, works. See, it works. Yeah. Eat a bone. <laughs> Chewies. Eat dog bones. Hey, I just have one question about testosterone. I'm serious about this. <laughs> okay, he's very yeah. Yeah. Am I gonna lose my hair if I do it? I'm not worried about my testicles. They could. The hair. Up a yeah, that's that's too big enough. It's like the hair. Yeah. Oh. That's always my fear. I always ask my like whenever my hairstylist does my hair, which I need a haircut. I haven't seen her in a long time. But the top of my head, I'm always like, is it balding? So that's always my fear. So what I did she it. say? She says, yeah, you're done. You're <laughs> yeah. done for. Well, I feel like that's also like genetics too, though. Like yeah. Hair loss. Yeah. yeah. You look at your hair. Yeah. You got, I feel like you're well, fucking on that testosterone. Yeah, he's also, he's, he's in his 50, so it's good. It's yeah. For yeah. 50, are you? Yeah. 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 I don't know. I was just wondering if they had any advice on like any P 
PEDs, testosterone, HGH. I'm 55. <laughs> well, now. I think it, yeah. I mean, I think it all depends also on Listen, your they're genetics. They're man models, they're not scientists. Yeah. <laughs> Let me break this down. Yeah. I got you. I got some for you. I think it all depends on your genetics too, just because um, I'll be honest, I. I guess whatever I'll reveal it. Uh, probably three, four years ago, I did try something called SARMs. SARMs? Yeah, it's basically a little less intense than steroids. I guess basically okay. kind of helps with that testosterone boost in a way that doesn't, I guess, shrink your nuts. <laughs> and, yeah, and I was like, what? <laughs> no, but for me, <laughs> it, uh, I broke out a lot, and like yeah. I know that doesn't happen to everyone, so like that's why I say it all. All depends on genetics. Oh, you mean too. like skin? Yeah, it, like yeah. I mean, oh. I flared up. Like I, I was on Accutane when I was younger, mm -hmm. and like it went back to before I was on that medication. Mm, okay. So, how about the results? Uh, it was. I mean, it was. You actually could meaning like how you said the veins. You got that look that you wanted in the sense of it just always looked yeah. like you were in a way dehydrated, just, which yes. was cool. Yeah, it's a little like extra. Yeah. Uh, like I was dehydrated, man. I've always struggled with mass. I guess that's something that I'm working on now by myself. Um, I feel like I've always. He always called me a string bean. Green Bean, Slim Jim. Lurch. Yeah, he's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we say about his penis. Yeah, exactly. Slim, yeah, slim, slim Jim. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Tic-tac. <laughs> Tic <-tack. laughs> no, but uh, that, was the, that was the one thing I noticed when I was on it. I was able to develop a certain body type that I couldn't do on my own. Okay. Now I'm, I'm not on that anymore. That was three years ago, and I've just been trying my hardest to get to that point. Because it's hard. I think once you, once you, you know, fly private, it's hard to go back to economy, oh. you know what I'm saying? Like, you oh, know, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Still yeah. economy. That's never, <laughs> never from I'm private, a middle seat. <laughs> yeah. I'll, when I do fly yeah. private, I'll know I'll what you mean. I've always been economy. Like? We're related. Yeah, well, please, listen, guys, we've all been on some jets here. <laughs> what, how, okay, so then you're from Ohio, Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. You were, you know, like a chubby kid eating yeah. Pen Express. How did you, be, how did you get into modeling and all that? Um, you want to go first or me? Uh, go ahead. All right, cool. I guess my... <laughs> I'll go. I'll go. No, uh, for me, I always did film growing up. When I was nine, my brother and I, we would do jackass stunts in the backyard. Like Boy. hit each other in the nuts, premiere to the family, be like, Love look it. at us hurting ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> and then for me, uh, I realized you didn't have to hit each other in the nuts anymore. You could okay. tell stories. And I was yeah. like, that's awesome. I'm yeah. going to stop doing that. And so like <laughs> film was always a huge part of my life. Uh, it was never, I always thought I was going to be the one making them, I guess. Okay. Just because of the chunkiness, you kind of, yeah. you, you see everyone around you looking the way they do and you're like, sure. it's, it's not for me. Yeah. And but then you see uh, George Lucas and you're like, you're like, I could. that's my guy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's my boy. I'm exactly. going to be him. Exactly. No, but, uh, when I came out here and kind of started getting things more like worked on getting in shape and whatnot, just to where I wanted to be, I started to see that alleyway open up, I guess, meaning like people. I've always struggled with like self image. Mm -hmm. So like, as I started losing weight or maybe growing up, like just maturing more in the face, uh, people yeah. would say like, yo, like you look like you look good. And I'd be like, what the fuck? No, I don't. Okay. And so like slowly acting was always something I did by myself. Yeah. And then, uh, once I graduated college, I was like, I'm out here. This is something I want to do. Yeah. yeah. I've been hearing more and I'm starting to feel a little bit more better about myself. And then I started getting into it. And that's when, Obviously, I did the backpack shoot with him, and then <laughs> from there, more short films, and it's something I really love doing, I think. Just yeah. playing different people, and uh, yeah, being on camera and having more, I call it like a sandbox, yeah. like a kid. You're That's playing crazy. in the sand with like your toys and stuff like that. Yeah. So I love that feeling. Be you still have that you still at heart feel like oh, an ugly kid. Absolutely. Yeah, I, that, I, it, does, it hasn't. It's when you. Interesting. Every day you wake up and like sometimes you'll be like, damn, I kind of look good. And then a second later you'll look in a different mirror and be like, I suck. No. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's always up and down. Especially if you compare yourself to other people. You it's know? always oh, like Jake. Nice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? no, I'm like, this, this guy, guy wakes oh, up. Yeah. He's like, hair's just like me. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't that even get better. I was going to say. No, no, for sure. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it must be tough. You know, it's no. like when you said when you first met him, you know, when you guys fell in love, that moment when he was that like, moment, came in the car, yeah. it was like, yeah. Yeah. Jake, I was like, like, I oh, love you. you. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> I'm going to love this guy soon. I know it. Let's start you, talking about Taco Bell. Yeah, and then it'll happen. Yep. That's so That's funny. Crazy. What was your journey? Did you, from Oklahoma, um, did you move, move to LA for acting and, and modeling and stuff? or I would say so, yeah, because yeah. I have family in the business. Um, and you always knew you were beautiful, right? No. Don't no? lie. No, absolutely not. No. I, baby photos. Did you have a glow up too? Dude, okay. I, oh, wait. I, I, no, no, no. You, 
I, you had your time. I was you fit, had your time because I, I played sports. You played lacrosse. Oh, I know yeah. everything about you. So I was oh, O'Reilly. Put I'm the photo my, here. I, my, I found you. <laughs> sorry, yeah, sorry, sorry, crazy. You he should, really you did. Should, you should see my. Uh, did you see the my? It's like my headshot, basically. Yes. Like on the college. Yes. Oh, my, I, the, the no, but you. Oh no, 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 no. Like, you oh. look so good in that. Oh, yeah, you look like my sophomore year. You should see my freshman. It's horrible. You think so? Oh, it's horrible. You got the blue eyes and shit. You got near, fucking like blue steel. Neck beard. You have like neck dysmorphia <laughs> disorder, bro. The, you, you, but, no, but you look. But like, I was. <laughs> but that that year was probably my thickest year. Like I, that was my sophomore year. I was two fifteen. Okay. Yeah. Um. And then I, let's see. I actually tra- so I only played for two years. I then moved back to Oklahoma. Went to University of Oklahoma. Um. And then I just got even. I got pretty thick there too. I just eating like shit. Not, okay. not working. I'm not doing anything because I was out of sports. I was yeah. Was done with sports because of injuries. And then I moved out here because I didn't know what the fuck I wanted to do. Like my my mom and dad had moved back here. Okay. My, dad, my dad's in the industry. I'll just say that. Okay. But um, <laughs> but he's like so that idea has always been there. Like oh maybe like I should give this a shot or like yeah. But I never thought it would be possible. Like coming from Oklahoma, like the circumstances the circumstances just like. It's not a thing. Really yeah. Right there. Like it is, it's starting to grow now, but when I was young, it was more like a dream than like I yeah. thought something that could be a reality. So, but then I moved out here after my junior year, didn't finish, didn't know what the hell I wanted to do. So I lived with my parents for a couple of years and just like PA'd for my dad, mm-hmm. um, production assistant stuff. And then kind of through him and some other people, meeting people on set, like found some contacts and got involved with like an agency finally. For acting or for modeling? Uh, for modeling. But yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I just kind of, I kind of fell into it, but also I did move out there fine, like here finally too. Cause I was like, okay, like, yeah. let's try this. So, That's so interesting. Cause yeah. most people see like, you know, very attractive people and they're like, you know, they, they probably, you know, got discovered. The, yeah. Yeah. Those, yeah those, but you like, all like, you know, I felt ugly yeah. my whole life. How about you, Jeff? You always knew you were beautiful. Come on, Jeff. I won a contest in Nashville called the next Nashville face. <laughs> no he was like, he was like, was like how old yeah, how old were, you, were you pretty young? This was 1982. Yeah. Okay. You, so yeah, actually, 54. Are you it's actually 54? Crazy. It's fucking yeah. crazy. Nobody so, ever believes uh, this. No, I thought, it was, no I thought it was a joke. I, no. I still think it's a bit, but no. <laughs> color photos were kind of a new thing. Yeah. Back then, so. <laughs> No, it's crazy. Is it a bit? No, he's he's way older. He's way older. <laughs> what the fuck? Nobody frick? ever believes that. Yeah. I could nah, not. I like, wouldn't. when I first met Jeff and he told me he was in his 50s, I was like, yeah, sure. sure but I relate yeah. to these guys heavy with, like, the Midwest life. You grow up eating just yeah. shit. You is eat that everything. From? Is that where you're from? Time. Yeah. Nashville? Tennessee. Okay. Yeah. Tennessee. Oh, yeah. And uh, I played sports in yeah. college as well. And uh, everybody, it's like a dream for everybody to come out to California or come out to L.A. And nobody... Yeah. Nobody thinks it's a reality or yeah, that you can no. exactly. make it. That's say. so interesting. So yeah. says, oh, you're yeah. going up to Cali, huh? Okay. Good luck. Right, yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Come back when you live in reality. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I've had a, I've had like a cashier one time. I came back just for the holidays and I showed my ID and they saw California and they said, hmm, California didn't work out. And you're, <laughs> oh, like, oh, you're, like, you're like, what the fuck? Crazy. I'm just getting groceries for my parents. <laughs> oh, it, yeah. it is pretty oh. crazy though, especially yeah. like in Oklahoma. What a roast. Or just like anywhere and like not here. It's, or I mean more, I guess Midwest or like smaller places, but like the idea that people like, that people paint this picture of LA and put it into their heads. Like it's insane what like, what they think about it. It's just, I feel like they think it's this fairy tale, like Hollywood, like, oh my God, did you see who? Like, and you do sometimes, you do see Dude, But the reality is way different. But it's, yeah. Like it's your like fucking gym put, fell apart the other day. Yeah. Like, dude, it's home, but the homeless like, people on the street. Yeah, so they, they cleared them out. My girlfriend was, I was in New York last week, but they told, she told me like they cleared like the, the street because there's like literally, like literal tents, like basements of homeless people, right? right just a block yeah. away. And they cleared them out within two and a half hours. And some other people claimed the spot and build a whole basement again. Two hours. I think some people think this is like a fucking candy land. Yeah, you just come out here. Yeah, you make money. There's like you make money and you do the stuff. Like especially if you're like in the business. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. I haven't. I haven't worked that much. You know. I. I feel like I've been doing it for probably four or five years. Because I've been out here for six, and I didn't start immediately, but yeah, like, I'm nowhere near like a. Yeah. Yeah. Like I feel comfortable. It was like the highlight of your career. Was it the backpack photo shoot with Zach? That, that, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I be. think are you talking about like the coolest experience, or like the, like the biggest job. I, I don't know. Whatever the the one that stands out the most. Probably because my dream is to travel. I've gotten to go to Colombia a couple of times in Peru. Okay, that's probably my favorite job, just because I I've always wanted to use this as like a yeah, almost like an excuse to travel too, because I I haven't been anywhere. Like yeah, I haven't traveled a lot. I haven't really experienced much. Like yeah, I guess, but. 
yeah, that was probably the coolest opportunity. Just go to different yeah. countries and see. Like, I finally got to see. Like, wow, like this is something other than yeah. the United States. You know, well, that's, like, that's it kind of opens your eyes a lot. That's my favorite thing about modeling was yeah. the traveling. Sorry, you know, the traveling all over the world. What do you guys? He, do you guys need to? Oh yeah, I totally you guys are like, <laughs> accidentally. Like, I get it. You guys are so like good it. together. It's amazing. It's amazing. Do you guys? Okay, when you when you guys are working out of the gym, because you have a lot of like you know women coming in as well. Do you guys ever have girls? Because, okay, here's the thing. There's a huge fantasy about like, you know, like you, because you, you once instructed me. I remember I was like working out and then you came over and you were like, okay, Mario, you whispered in my ear. You were like, okay, Mario. That's my favorite thing to do. You know? I whisper in everyone's <laughs> ear. <laughs> You're not he, like, special. He whispers in my ear and he's like, hey, Mario, do you want to go a little harder? And I was like, yeah, bro. So then he like, <laughs> that's me. He goes, like, okay. Absolutely. Now, do I pulse, do it to everyone. He was like, yeah, do the Just pulsing thing. No, you do it only to me. Oh, I, oh, never, I did. Okay, yeah. sorry. I felt special you made it. for a second. I was going to go. No, I was going to go. I thought you were doing a bit there, but I did. I think I always come up and I like crouch down next to people and I'm like, all right, Mario, you were going to do the pulsing bit, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, all right, Mario, we're going to pulse it out for like, <laughs> here we go, five. Four yeah. and now full range go. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess I do do the whisper yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. He did, he did. Do you ever have life, um, people? Because it's kind of like a fantasy, and you are like, like I was when I first walked in. I was like, what the fuck is happening here? You know, it's like <laughs> also all the people are very good looking, right? West Hollywood and all that stuff. Do you ever have like girls after the class just like you know kind of throwing themselves at you? Is that like a problem ever? Uh, not. Th- I wouldn't say threat. Like they're not projectiling their bodies into us. <laughs> that would be scary. I would be terrified. I, but I would say like I love. I love those people over there. And yeah. like I love. Uh, I'm a people person. I mean, yeah. I enjoy engaging with everyone and making them have the best time while they're there. Yeah. Because fitness sucks. It's it's hard to work out yeah. and like go through that pain. Yeah. So it's fun to just make that memorable. I'd say if anything, I've just had people kind of read it as if it's. That's what I thought. That's and what like, you were, man. You know, I thought, and then you're was, like, I thought uh, there was something. Like, but, you're, yeah, I, yes. I, but like he, I think he has that problem more, more than I do. Cause like, but that's just his personality. Like, he's, just, he's, a, very, he's a very hands-on, like yeah, yeah, yeah. very like, energetic and very like, he has a good personality though. So I yeah. think maybe it, correct me if I'm wrong, <laughs> but like people will mistake that for like flirting or like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, got it. Being yeah. too like that, you're into them. It's mm-hmm. like you're just mm-hmm. doing your job, and you're just, you're just a fun. Like you're just a cool person. Yeah. Like he's, it's not fake. Yeah, so I so, think yes. mis- like girls will mistake that for like okay. flirtatious, yeah, yeah, yeah. like behavior. But yeah, because must be hard, you know. <laughs> it's everywhere, you know. Girls just God. like you walk around, yeah, you can't crazy. fucking go anywhere. Like, you know, I'm just, I'm just trying to be normal. stay farming <laughs> people, Dude, walking down no the street. Respect. No, yeah. no. What, do you ever do personal training? Uh, yeah, I've done it. Uh, We've done, I know Jake's done group fitness or not. I mean, it's more personal training. It was just a small, I mean, yeah, you during tell, why COVID. am I telling you? No, it's, no, you're good. We did it together a couple of times. Oh, so. yeah. Because it was in, it was during COVID, like when all the okay, gyms got it. Yeah. Because when I lived in the South Bay, I worked at a Hermosa uh, okay. at 45. Yeah. And then once it shut down, like all the gyms shut down, yeah. Zach, myself, and another buddy of ours got some, like some of the members that were there. Uh, we got together yeah. and did some. Because the thing training. is, like the one on one, that's where I feel a lot of that like sexual tension. That's like the, through, the stereotypical. You know? like, that's like the one. Yeah, it's it's kind of, are we going on a date? That must yeah. be. Like, They're like. That they must be like a porn category, right? Like a personal trainer kind of stuff. There's like you know. Are you lying? You haven't looked it up. <laughs> Here, let me <laughs> just check. Be, yeah. I got well, one you, you if There's if there's <laughs> like if there's school teacher, there has to be gym trainer. Like, yeah, hundred percent there are. Yeah. You know, because I mean, yeah. I when I was in New York, I was even I was hired <clears throat> for personal training. Um, by this guy who um owns a lot of things and has a lot of wealth. So <laughs> owns a lot of things. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Lots of wealth. <laughs> Got it, got it. So, nice. So he was like, it was the funniest thing ever. He would he would um invite me to go train with him at Equinox and I would go in and I would train with him and he'd pay me like two hundred bucks for like yeah. just and I would go I to Equinox work to work out myself and work out with him. Yeah. Yeah. Did you yeah. grab his butt? No, no, it was not just a workout honk. session. <laughs> like an hour for like an hour, two hundred bucks an hour. No, we just work out for like an hour and stuff, and then yeah, like, mostly gay dude. No, 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 no. <laughs> we just <laughs> we just worked. <laughs> what? what are we training for? We just worked yeah. out. Literally, we just, just I helped him work out. I gave him some things, and then you know I blew him after. But real, I'm confused. No, he let me stay at his place. There was a there was a kind of arrangement, but it was so weird because he never. Here's the thing. He never asked for anything sexual. Yeah. But I knew that it was like, I don't fucking know. I'm not, I mean, I have actually have a personal training license technically because I would mm. lived in New Zealand, whatever I did it there. But I'm not like, 
whatever like really qualified i just gave him some like basic workout stuff and yeah i don't know he just liked working out with a young yeah guy at the time yeah. you know Maybe. so i feel like some people do it just because they want like to have like to talk to people yeah like, right? it's more of like a social thing than just like I want to get my body to perfect yeah. shape. It's more like I maybe things are problems at home and you want to just like escape. Got it, so got it. I guess kind of like, like, like hairstyles. You have like yeah. a therapist as well. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know for you, like I would, you say like fitness is therapeutic for you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that is for most people. Sometimes I go into that gym just because I enjoy that company of being around everyone. That's great. It pulls you out of just whatever you're yeah. going through. You yeah. could be yeah. in the grumpy. Like yeah, or going solo and like you use that like to like get the yeah. fuck out of reality. Yeah. yeah. No, and you guys that's have great. like you guys created. I've told you this before. Like I, I'm not just saying this. You guys create a great energy in there. That's what yeah, I love going yeah, there. Thanks. Thank you. I don't go there for workouts. I just want to be fucking whispered in my <laughs> yeah. ear. <laughs> you just wanna, you're like More you, you look over your shoulder at me, like <laughs> pretending <laughs> like you don't want me to come over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Close your eyes. <laughs> I'm what like, kind of workouts I'm, you guys doing there? Just whispering. Yeah. yeah, we just whisper. It's, yeah. it's not about it's the workout. It's just dark. We go. It's, all, it's all about the sexual tension, not about the workout. Yeah, exactly. You know? exactly. <laughs> Give me a guest pass in there. Yeah, <laughs> yo, sounds <laughs> fun. Over. We got a seven day trial. Yeah, hey, come on over. Yeah. On board. Yeah. Yeah. Whisper in your ear. Yeah. I'll do it. No, yeah. you should do it. No, just very old school. Just very, just very interesting. Sure. He, like you know, he grew up in the like seventies when he was working out. Fucking like you know, it was a whole different time back then. So he, um, his diet only steak. By the way, he's like a carnivore right yeah, now. Carnivore. He, looks, he looks fucking great. Dude, that sounds so oh, fun. That's so That's good. That's the diet. I would would kill bone in or I like to the tomahawk. Oh, it's one of the best. I cuts do about of three, three ribeyes a day. Is that it? Yeah. Only steak. Three ribeyes a day. Three ribeyes a day. How many ounces? It's between two to three pounds. Oh Bubba, that sounds amazing. Do you do you make it yourself? Yeah, not that Oof. great, but. But yeah, still, like, he's really turned on right now. He's like, oh, oh, "Please tell me, oh, more. Shit, tell me more about this." Yeah. Right. Yo, what, 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 <laughs> what guy? Well, how do you like your steak? Yeah, that's medium that's rare. Question. Yeah, oh, fuck. Thank God. Can I come over for dinner? Oh, yeah. This must be the well. straightest Porsche we've ever done. <laughs> can can I whisper, I'll hilarious. whisper in your ear for some steak? <laughs> we just talk about whispering in dudes' ears and stuff, so we got to kind of like you know balance it out. Yeah, exactly. Steak, me, longhorn steakhouse. You know, I did. I tried all the fucking diet. Like I said, I'm 55. I've yeah. tried all the diets. The the meat diet just keeps me full the longest. I no, I'm so satiated. Yeah, yeah. satiated. Exactly. Makes sense. Nothing yeah. else. It's just steak. I mean, I smoke a little weed, so you know, <laughs> a little grass. Yeah, yeah, I eat a little, weed. but not like steak and potato or steak and rice. It's just meat. Yeah, no carbs. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And they never. You, then, like, but no, you I never able to do that. I smoke yeah. weed. I can't help. Yeah. Oops. Really yeah, what's your, you what's get your, your cheat, cheat day or cheat meal of choice? Yeah, we might have a drink tonight or something. What are we doing? Is it yeah. Oh, well, gonna... tonight we're going to, oh my God. So tonight we're going to an event. It's Pride Month, I guess. Uh -huh. And I was invited to an event by a very sweet man. Uh, and it's an event for Sean Cody. So I. P. Diddy. I. P. P. Diddy? P. Diddy. No, Sean Combs. No, Sean, Sean Combs. Oh, yeah, Sean P. Combs. Diddy. I know oh, no, it. No, 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 no. Yeah. Very different. Cut so, that. I'll be careful. So, so, <laughs> so, Sean Cody, uh, I didn't realize at first. I thought it was just a pride event. I was like, cool. Sometimes I go into events, I meet people. It's, it's cool. Um, but then I Google it. Sean Cody is a, uh, it is a, uh, do you know what it is? Fragrance. No. Have another guess. Sean Cody. Clothing. No, very much not so. <laughs> Opposite of clothing. <laughs> no. Porn star. Food. Yes. It's oh, a is porn it? studio. Oh, so really? So basically we're going to a party with all gay porn stars. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Dab me oh, up. Right. Yeah. Damn. yeah. You guys want to come? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I can probably bring you. I, 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 I got to be home early though because I coach in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> is there steak? You yeah, want there. Yeah. Is there steak? If they have steak, I'm in. I'm in. I will be there Red for the steak. You could you could probably recruit some guys to like you know coach them one on one to the. All right. I need clients. <laughs> you know, I need clients. Yeah. Do you have Viagra we can bring? <laughs> oh my Man, god! Yeah, we, we, I think we need it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man eats Taco Bell for twenty four yeah. hours straight. <laughs> <laughs> it throws up. Throws up shits out his ass. <laughs> we have you guys. Also, you guys are straight. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Me too, bro. What's up? Yo, yeah. dude, sure. it's right there. For sure. For sure. Ribeyes sure. <laughs> <Right there. laughs> yeah. and chicks. You guys are dabbled because you said dabble in Taco Bell. No. No. I don't Because you guys have like a bromance. You have like a bromance yeah. vibe going on, you know? We do. Yeah. 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 I love that. Do you yeah. feel like as guys, do you feel like as straight dudes, like, do you guys, you know, what do you, this is like this whole buzzword of like toxic masculinity right now, yeah. you know? 
which Chef loves that word. It's his favorite word ever. You love? <laughs> no, he, <laughs> he does. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's been weaponized a lot by feminists and stuff. Yeah. You know? Do you feel like as a man sometimes, do you feel like pressure to like be, you know, no. like straight? Because you seem no. like pretty, you know. No, yeah. yeah? I'm sorry not to cut you off. I yeah. just feel strongly about that. I mean, like, I know who I am and I like being like... Big, big. Just yeah. doing silly. I like, I don't, <laughs> you like, you like the, I just, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, uh, I'm, I know who I am and I'm comfortable. I just like, uh, I don't know how to explain it. Just being free, I guess. Yeah. Just, uh, not, I don't care. Probably yeah. the least manly dude out there. I feel like. I, yeah. That's why I like. The, I, yeah. I like that about you. I saw it. I was like, what a beta yeah. sissy. And I was like, I like that. Guy. <laughs> you little I fucking, fucking like that guy. Yeah. <laughs> no, I like that being is. around dudes yeah. that are like <clears throat> a little less alpha, so it makes yeah. me feel more secure in my masculinity. Yeah. That's why I brought you guys yeah. on. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I just Finally wanted to pick on some nerds. Thank, thank you. you. So like, I just wanted to pick on some Keep nerds. Finally, someone gets us. When I was a kid, I used to wear like uh like i like the fairly odd parents and stuff in hannah montana i used to have those shirts and yeah. i had like a fairly odd parents shirt where it had like glitter on it and i remember like people being like oh you're a dude and you got glitter on your shirt and i was like i like this shirt shut yeah. up wow. <laughs> <laughs> shut up <laughs> you're the most progressive fucking seven-year-old that's hilarious wow <laughs> i like it that's <laughs> great it's my favorite <laughs> it's my favorite shirt <laughs> asshole <laughs> no same here i played yeah. with barbies yeah i did I did. Yeah. I played, I played with Barbies. I remember when I was like in with my cousins in Germany, we would, but also it's different for me because I'm European, you know? Mm. So it's not yeah. gay, it's yeah. European, you know? I can do anything. <laughs> 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 I can do anything. It's fucking doesn't matter in Europe. I'm um, European. In Europe, you can do anything that's never with gay. Barbies. Like in Europe, you know, I can give my, I can give you, okay. a, I can, I can, I can give you a blowjob right now if we're in Europe, you know? And you're like, oh, this is a little homoerotic. You know, I just show you my passport. I'm, I'm like, Euro lean back, Zach. I'm European, We're dog. Sir, you're like, European? No, I'm not. I oh, was not just European. speaking for you. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm not. I'm, he's from, he's Ohio. I'm a Rican. <laughs> you will blow Yeah, just like show my passport. I'm European. Lean back, Zach. Just, <laughs> <laughs> All you got to do is flash the passport and people are like, uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, I have this stand-up joke where I say like, you know, if you go to Germany, you can go to a Berlin nightclub and you see two dudes making out in the corner and yeah. everybody in Germany is going to be like, oh, look, they're What's such good friends. You know? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah. really? It's really, well, it, I think it's more like, you know, people don't care so much. Yeah. About sexuality, it's just like, I don't know. It's not as, I feel like in America, and I, this is a whole like a stand-up bit behalf, but like in America, everything's gay, right? You wear sunscreen, you're gay. Right? Yeah. Show your feelings, you're gay. You get the vaccine, yeah. you're a liberal. Yeah. Which makes you gay. I'm like, yeah. yeah. That's, so, yeah, that's crazy, yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah, vaccines are pretty gay, though. Yeah, yeah, seriously. That, 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 that's where I draw the line. Yeah, 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 yeah. You blow a dude, but if you get the vaccine... Yo, what? <laughs> wow, <laughs> you're crazy. <laughs> so what's the... You guys are both straight, you said? Yes. What's the gayest love, moment you've had? Have you had a gay moment in your life where you were like... This podcast this was, right here. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was pushed on you. you know? I would just say, like... I, I mean, no, not really, but I think... I mean, I can, doing tonight? I'm not speaking for you, but like Oklahoma, that's not like you like growing up. I think it's just all about like also how I grew up. Like I grew up in the church. I grew up in like with a mm, family yeah. where that like w like literally tolerated, not tolerated, yeah, yeah. but like I don't want to say that, but like, no, it's okay. Like it just like, it was almost, it was, it's like, that was taboo. Like to be yeah. like homosexual. But so did you know anybody growing up that was gay in Oklahoma? A couple, but not really. Yeah. I feel like, I think I got a, such a bigger view of like, like life like that or you know people being different or whatever when i moved out here yeah so i think sure. like la really opened me like, like opened me up instead of being like yeah. so closed-minded like i feel like that's a problem like coming from those states like you're so closed-minded yeah in those small that's cities true. and just like coming from there like i i was like Ooh. not that i was freaked out about it by any means i never cared i love like i love people i love who, yeah no matter what you know what you are uh, but I think I've definitely gained so much more respect for that and like really yeah. opened my eyes when I came out here because mm -hmm. it's just like it's, people are free. People are everywhere here. Like, for sure, yeah. Like, every different like walks of life. So. Yeah. yeah. I'm thankful I grew up in the household I did. Meaning like like Jake said, in Oklahoma, the type of people like in Ohio for me, like it is a very like that's that's a lot for them to take in and they think it's yeah. different. And I'm thankful that I grew up in the house that I did. Like I said, just uh, very accepting and just always there's it was never like, oh, that's weird and different. But, mm. like, in Ohio, the most people that you'll meet there will, like, if they saw that, that's, like, what what's going on there? Mm. So, like, I'm, yeah, I was always, I guess. Yeah, and I think yeah. that's why traveling is so important because I think 
the reason why Europe might be more open is because yeah. we travel at such a young age. In Europe, it's so normal to like when you're 15, 16. I did student exchange programs when I was 14 years old and I went to France for like two months. You know, wow. stuff like that I did all the time. I went to South America for a year when I was 15. That's awesome. Europeans travel a lot more. So you are constantly confronted with different cultures, mindsets. Yeah. So it's not as sheltered. And I think that's what creates a little bit of that ignorance and a little bit less acceptance. Oh, you know, when you're in a, That's yeah. why I think traveling, and I fucking stand by this, I think traveling is the best thing anybody can ever do. Yeah. It's the best yeah. education in the world. Better Absolutely. than like going to college, just traveling. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Jeff, what did you mean by gayest moment? What is <laughs> what, <laughs> just wonder if anything came to mind where you're like, like you know what that was a little was, so yeah, he always little pushes little, a lot yeah. for the because uh, in modeling you know we've had a lot of experience with, yeah. with gay photographers and all that stuff because you the thing is uh, like yeah. once you come to LA yeah. that's my experience I was also even in Germany like there's not a lot of gay people that I knew in Germany my hometown yeah. you know because I'm from a small town it's different from Berlin right yeah. so I never I didn't know any gay people literally yeah. until I moved to America I, I mean I'm sure I met some that were not out but yeah. you know so um but once you're in the fashion industry, you're confronted with a lot of, you know, gay photographers, gay men. Sure. Most yeah. of our friends, the friends we yeah, met through, yeah, are gay, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So that's what Jeff always asked about is like, you know, a photographer says there been any issue with it. Yeah. He's in a very vulnerable space. You know, has anybody whispered in your ear as you're doing underwear photo uh, shoot or something like yeah. that? I mean, I feel like I would be comfortable in any of those situations as yeah. long as it made sense. Like, uh, like what you just described. If someone yeah. said, are you fine doing this? I'd be fine. But, uh. Where was I going with this? I don't know. Someone start talking so I can find my train of thought. <laughs> it's gone. Uh, I mean, I've, de I've definitely had like <laughs> people that I've worked with that maybe like, I feel like they know where I'm, where I stand. Not that I have anything against it. It's just like, but they, I mean, slight inappropriate, like pushing yeah. or, but well, it's never been anything too crazy. Yeah. I guess, but. I guess the first thing that popped in my head, mm -hmm. it's not a job, but I knew this dude, he worked at a bar. And like, it was the weirdest thing when I left one time, he like, <laughs> so like, we're saying bye, see ya. And he just like tapped me. Just held his hand on my wiener and he was like, see ya. And I was like, <laughs> I remember yeah, like. That's what I, the moment. The, I, the, I remember the like. Hollywood handshake. Yeah, absolutely. And I remember like, I didn't know what to do in this position. I was like, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. okay, this is happening. And I remember just <laughs> the first thing that popped in my head. I said like, thank you. That was, I respect that. <laughs> and then it just, I mean, it gradually got worse, I guess, every time. Meaning every time I came into that bar, it'd be like he'd have to like touch my wiener and like, I'd be like, stop touching my wiener. Oh, I don't, every shit. time we cross paths, it doesn't need to be a wiener touch, <laughs> but like that Did would you be, tell the, him? yeah, well, eventually like eventually, first yeah. time, like yeah, I said, I, mean, I said, thanks. I respect yeah. that. Cause we're not cool. We're not cool. cool. Like it's you would cool. never, and I wouldn't either. Like, Ever be like, whoa, what the fuck? Like, what are you doing? Like, that's just yeah. That's you put just, your deep, your voice. Yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, like, because that, fuck, like, that's bro? so crazy. Like, you don't have to be like an ass about it, but like, yeah. Eventually, it's like, why would people? I don't know. Like, eventually, I did. I was just yeah, like, hey, but, every time we see each other, don't have to touch my wiener. Yeah, yeah. and then I touch yours. <laughs> <Put her there. laughs> I'm a top. <laughs> yeah, I touch my wiener. Like, maybe not every time. <laughs> but yeah. Occ yeah. occasionally, every other time. Whatever. Because it's not you're not gonna make a big deal. Yeah, it's just like it's like I just wouldn't. For example, like, but that was not even a photographer. That's just the, the no. That dude. was just a, a just random, a friend. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay, we just, okay, okay. We knew he owned the bar, and like, yeah. it just got to that point, and I was like, yeah. "What's happening?" But it's almost like I wouldn't go like you, to, like for for example, men and women. I would never in a million years like even get close to a woman if like that wasn't even like yeah even told like if someone yeah, yeah. didn't tell me, hey, you can get on closer to me. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna like. Can you imagine just like a woman you meet at the bar, just like see you next time, boop, just boop, boop. Yeah. or like you, just, <laughs> yeah, it's like whoa, 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 what's happening? Yeah, 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 some people have no disregard for that. Like, no. yeah, yeah, boundaries and like just disrespecting women, no. or just like men or women, just like Cause I thought doing whatever like, the fuck they want without any yeah. like repercussions. Because I, it's crazy. I, that's why I saw it like out here very quickly. It's like how people just really don't care. Yeah, they don't give a shit about boundaries sometimes, yeah. but. No, especially, that's what Jeff's asking, especially in this town. Yeah, yeah. What are y'all doing tonight? <laughs> like, Yo, I don't, I don't that, care you're hanging out everybody? with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure. We got a gay porn star yeah. party to go no, to. No, we're going we're, we're gonna to do this because we're going to a very gay event, so we're going to do something very straight after, right? So we're going to go to this gay event, and then right after, we're going to listen to Joe Rogan. And then yeah. yeah. ribeye. Yeah. And, and, and <laughs> Just raw, in raw ribeye. Oh we, put on, we put on flannels after, yeah. right? Maybe some push-ups? Yeah, maybe some. What else? What else can we do, man? Watch some. Watch this, Watch the um, the Stanley Cup playoffs for the Super Bowl. They got football <laughs> reruns. You yeah, can find online. Watch Stan, some you say reels. the Stanley Cup finals for the Super Bowl. I'm not that. 
I'm not that straight. Yeah, I'm not that straight. Yeah. What's the straightest thing you guys have ever done in your life? Sex <laughs> with a girl. <laughs> Some one girl, girl that's gay. Yeah, <laughs> yo, weird. <laughs> Taco Bell is in there. Taco Bell. It's pretty good. It's, it's a, a little country. Country. I yeah. think that's for everyone. Would, but all these corporate has did corporate, Taco Bell have like a because even the straightest brands do very gay advertising right now like but Budweiser with a trans spokesperson mm. right no, no. I think Target was almost canceled for having a super that was weird I, I, not weird what Target did I'm saying like the outlet or the out or what was the uh, thing right well, can you fact check this like what was the thing Target they had ads for Pride Month yeah with they, shirts well, I, I saw like dickheads on like uh, yeah. TikTok taking like those clothing that they were launching for pride month, walking around to people and be like, do you support this satanic like worshiping thing? And it's yeah, like, it's Oh, fucking fun. chill. That's crazy. Is, well, what are the shirts say? It's pride. Well, I think just some pride for it, satanic. Some for and they were like, <laughs> Oh, hey, gay. <laughs> 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 but wasn't there something like there was a pocket for toddlers. It was like a penis pocket. For toddlers or something. A penis pocket for toddlers? Penis something pocket. I've never heard of that line. What is a penis pocket for, for toddlers? <laughs> a penis pocket? <laughs> like, a, like in your underwear, you have like the... Yeah, some kind like of sacks. Sacks, sacks, yeah, sacks, sacks. But they had it for toddlers, yeah. I guess. Like that of the ballpark pouch. Did they you know, actually? Those, you know, penis pockets? Pockets? I don't know exactly, but it was a little random lines. First of all, first of all what, is a, so what is penis pocket, first of all? You've like got for 50 toddlers. pair of underwear with hot dog pockets down there. Pull them out. Hot yeah. dog pockets? Hot ballpark dog pockets? Pads, like sacks. For, for holding range? your wieners? Oh, like your, your ballpark wieners? wieners? How many wieners? I got so a like hot dog. Yeah. Ballpark bag. Yeah. So, okay. You you know, your... Oh, okay. It's one of those that have the, it's one of those where you have. Built-in banana hammock. I don't know. Can we balls? fact check that so they had the, the toddler put, wiener put holders? It was something Yeah, just one dude said something. You were like, oh, he's talking his Yo, I think. Yeah, people were like acting like Target needed canceled. That's I don't know what crazy. the big deal is. If they had penis is. pockets for toddlers, cancel them. That's weird. Yeah, that's <laughs> but I think weird. they just... <laughs> Yo, this is actually kind of funny. It says, born this gay. <laughs> it, well, dude, they, they have this really cool one. It's actually sick. It's this. Uh, it's like this overall set, all green. On the back, it just said gay. Okay. That was the only design. I think that one was really cool, though. But that's that was good, because awesome. you know what you're... You know, just know, know where you're at. You know, that's great. What's that sound? A gay old time. Is it gay in here, or is it just me? <laughs> Gay pride. I'm so gay, I shit rainbows. Ally. I don't, or I don't know if all those are real. I feel like he just scrolled through target, Google. Yeah. yeah, that's just Google images. Yeah, you're going to end up on some weird <laughs> Amazon site. Where yeah. Yeah. Guys, that's it's like, like you don't trust the internet, okay? It's like, like, check me on everything, Tyler guys. Tyler just has like, a wiener Tyler on his shirt. crazy. They just have like, you know. Check, check this Etsy. one has people Sounds doing it. gay, I'm in tank top. Yeah, no, that's cool. I, I wish, no, I thought that they had the, because I have this one, ta the one shirt that's everywhere. It's like, the, I'm not gay, but $20 is $20, you know. Did <laughs> get that from Target? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay. but that's, that's crazy. Awesome. So, so what was the big? So they have a okay, Jeff. Where did the yeah, whole Yeah, Jeff penis just fucking fucking <laughs> up from? Can you we can you Google old. that actually? I think they were forging penis, penis pockets for toddlers. Toddler LGBTQ. penis pocket. I think even the words are gonna get this podcast age restricted. Like, Toddler yeah. penis pocket. What's happening? Yeah. The one thing I can see is like if you put your kid in a shirt that says like proud and out or something like that, it almost predetermines their sexuality without them having it's like getting your kids circumcised without their consent which is a lot of americans have gone through you know mm. so did you get consent did your parents I, ask no 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 i i got circumcised at 19 at, at no way yeah I did actually it, yeah yeah i tell the story every podcast so i'm not gonna get into it yeah. i'm telling it private but it was for a girl a turkish girl so i got circumcised for her yeah that's fucking love you know that's, that's sacrifice love. guys wow. take that home if you want to Please, a woman. Get circumcised for your life. Do whatever it takes. Even if you have to do it twice. Exactly. Andrew Tate hates me for this. You know, if, he, if he knew that I was such a beta that I got circumcised yeah. for a girl, he would lose all respect. He doesn't respect me anyways because, you know, he can look at me. Riley will like this. Riley, I unfollowed Andrew Tate. I just, I just couldn't. It's like, it's just getting too much. <laughs> and I know you hate him. I know you hate him. Okay, I think I found what Jeff was talking about. Okay. A swimsuit sold in the women's section come under scrutiny for the way its fit was described as tuck friendly highlighting its ability to supposedly tuck male genitalia yeah it was a tuck thing well tuck man genitalia that's amazing like i think we need help like our genitalia doesn't always look that great so i appreciate target for thinking of us who are not showers and who need a little extra support you know 
This video is sponsored by Target. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to get your sale at Target. <laughs> Target's July Go 4th. Get, <laughs> get your 4th of July thongs. If you're a grower, shop Target. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then, okay, and then what's your, what's your, what's your dating life like? Because you are like, you know, very desirable man, especially after this podcast. Also, any yeah. guys, is there an email people can reach out to for like, you know, personal training sessions or something? Oh, yeah. We'll yeah. put your handles down. Yeah, there. do yeah, the handles. Perfect. Handles would be perfect. Yeah. But what's love great. life in LA like? I mean, you know, compared to Oklahoma, Ohio. I feel like, well, I mean, I have a girlfriend. I met okay. her at F45, actually. Um, I think, but before that, it was... Well, you did meet at F45? Yeah. So she was your pro, uh, b trainee? My my what? She, she was your yeah, trainer. She was, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, the whole situation. We were yeah, yeah. About, uh, I mean, it didn't work out. Like, he didn't do just that. Like that. It was it was more like we we were we were friends first as okay. a group, and yeah. then we got like yeah. connected more and more um, as we hung out. But it was pretty quick. I mean, it was pretty quick into our friendship. But, <laughs> but yeah, no, we met at F forty five. She still goes to F forty five. Okay. Um, but I feel like date like the question dating life. It was just hard. Yeah, like for a long, like for a while, like dating in LA, it's just, it's. I feel like it is what people. There's too many options for you. It's just like definitely not yeah, that. Yeah. Definitely <laughs> not, not that. It's just. Not I think you. some, like I don't know. From my experience, it's just like some people, like people want other things than what you're exactly. mm. to like. Either yeah. they're not looking for anything serious, or they are looking for something serious, and you're like, it, I don't know. What weird. You, it was weird for what me. are you looking for? Are you looking for something serious? serious? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So definitely. you're not. You, would you say? Would you guys say you're like fuck boys? No, no, no? I, not no, at all. No, I, that, you know, yeah, no, I got that vibe. If anyone, vibe. like, say for anyone in the past and stuff, there had to have been a connection for me that I enjoyed with that person in order to, like, I don't know, see them and, like, yeah. begin something with them, I guess. It, I've, mm. I've never been a one-night stand person, I guess. Let's go. Hope is romantic. I've never had a one-night stand in my Wait, entire never life. Want, I never did, once. I got went through a bad breakup, like, I lost six respect a little ago. bit for you. But Stop. That's okay. I, was, I tried it and I hated it. No, 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 no. I got it. I got but it. I've, I've always been a hopeless romantic. And uh, like Jake said, it was tough out here because sometimes you would find people. And like maybe that wasn't what they were looking for. Or there was just something where you would get your heart too involved and damaged. But eventually you do come across someone. Yeah. Jake found it's, his lady. Yeah. They've been it's out there. Going steady. And yeah. I just, it's crazy. I, uh. Sorry, I'm just gonna get all lovey dovey here. No, no, but, <laughs> no, but uh, Break it down. it's so adorable. It's, <laughs> it's funny. Uh, I'd say flash flashback like two weeks ago. I was just saying how like I enjoy coming home, eating Chipotle, eating whatever I want, watching yeah. what I want, and then wake up and do my day again. Yeah, I love just being like by myself. Okay, and only reporting myself. But I did just meet someone, so Ooh. and she's fantastic, and I want to see her all the time. So eventually you do find that person. Oh, yeah. Shut up. Wow. I told you I was going to get lovey yeah. dubby. Hold you shut your mouth. <laughs> Jesus. But, uh, <laughs> eventually you do meet that person where you're like. Gah. Yeah. So it's, they're not all bad. Oh Dude, God. shut up. <laughs> shut you know, up. They're kind of right about LA though. There's just a lot of people that are about themselves. Why are yeah. you still yeah. laughing? That's okay. Which is, a, okay. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think that's definitely okay to be selfish. But I'm done. There's also times where you gotta like, if you're looking for something with someone else, like you gotta unsubscribe. You gotta be a, like, I don't know, be on the same page. They hate love. Yeah. No, that was so fucking cute. It's kind of made people asocial here, like socially awkward. Uh, we went to Coachella and we had a big group. Yeah. And bro, we never really hung out with these people. It blows my mind. I'm like, wait, when you go with a group to Coachella, you're supposed to fucking stay up all night by the fire, get do nasty, get, <laughs> get like, do whatever, get drugs, yeah. put your fucking phone yeah, down for a minute. You have an orgy. Selfies. It's weird. Dude, Coachella. 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 What the fuck are we doing here? Blows my mind. In the 70s, this is what, this is what you Yo, do. This time yeah. period sucks. I got to know people. Times have changed. We used no, to do orgies. No, man, the times have changed. You know, now men are just, wait, you really? know, these Weasley betas. That was so cute, by the way. I love Thanks, that. Man. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks. Early when I asked when Jeff asked you about the gays thing, ever yeah. that was probably it. That was <laughs> that was probably it. <laughs> no, that's Jeff, did you say you did orgies back in the day? Uh, not as much back in the day. That's but, a new thing. Oh, that's a new thing. That's a now time. I was just, I was just kidding. God damn, this guest just, is wild. <laughs> oh, it was just much more social. You know? Yeah. Everyone, no one cared about the selfie. No one cared about this. It was just everyone was in the moment. Actually, yeah. Absolutely. That's awesome. Now it's all about the selfie. And it's a little different now. Let's take a selfie. Yeah. yeah. Take, well, <laughs> take I'm like, speaking yeah. of that, I've been waiting to do this. <laughs> yeah, I, I want the selfie. I, I do want the selfies. So, wait, what's your guys' goal then now? You know, you're here. What's your, main, like, you're doing acting? That's the main goal? Yeah. Uh, I guess my main goal is always, I look up to, like, people, like, I guess, John Krasinski. Meaning, like, no, he I got, know who that is. Damn. 
Just kidding. <laughs> no, John you, Krasinski you know played, no. he played oh, Jim, Jim from The Office. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. like, he the built... Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, boy, there's a the British office. version. <laughs> <laughs> and an American. <laughs> no, but um, he obviously got to start there being Jim and then kind of grew upon that role, built that, like, kind of audience within loving who that person was. Yeah. Went on to do other projects and then obviously did A Quiet Place. He wrote and directed that and starred in it. Oh, wait, who was in The Quiet Place? The dad. Oh, yeah, I know it, this guy. Yeah. Yeah, and no, that was, he made yeah. that with his wife too, Emily. Yeah, Emily Blunt. Blunt. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, that was yeah. the whole family kind of thing. But that's always someone that I guess I would love to do. Is I would love to build that, whether it's through a TV show or projects that you do, build that image for yourself, where eventually you can step aside and say, "I also can tell stories." Hmm. I've always yeah. wanted. I love comedy. Yeah. I think it's my favorite thing to do. And uh, so, like people like. Uh, Ryan Reynolds or Chris Pratt and stuff like that. Those are dudes' Ryan faces Reynolds. where, like, you're like, I'm gonna go see this movie because they're in it. Hundred percent. And yeah. so I feel like that about Ryan Reynolds. Oh, absolutely. Like, he you know, is Ryan Reynolds. It, that's I think that's the most aspiring career you could ever have. Oh, the dude absolutely. plays himself. He can be silly. He's like. He's attractive. God yeah. fucking damn it. I love that guy. Ryan, if you're watching, dude. At some point, though, you gotta admit, <laughs> fucking like, regardless of sexuality, like. Ryan Reynolds, you, 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 if it's there, you got to take it. Because fucking, just for the clout, right? You mean yeah. like the, the sleeping with Ryan Reynolds or like the, being a Ryan take Reynolds? It. No, like take career. it. No, no, no. Career. Sleep with him. Like, okay, yeah. Because like fucking. Ryan, yeah, fucking. Can you imagine, dude? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like, right, the, you know, like. Hey, it's me, Ryan Reynolds. It's, it's not even gay. It's just hey, like, it's, 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 a, it's a responsibility you have. Yeah. You know what I mean? The like, it'd be it stupid. Is. Gotta smash. No, yeah, yeah, you gotta smash. Yes. Yeah. So, smash or smash. if you ever smash have. Smash or pass, <laughs> smash. I'll smash. I'll smash. Smash or smash. Wow. Smash. No, that's the, yeah. No, you guys should have your own TV show. Cause you guys are, you guys are like Zoolander type trainers. It's, and you have like awesome. a bromance. I don't know. I like, you guys have a cool dynamic. I like we, that. Yeah. Uh, we kind of put it on the side right now just cause we were focusing on like just getting in that place where you feel comfortable. But yeah. we do those comedy shorts together. Yeah. Uh, we call ourselves Do You Media. And so it's kind of like, that's one of my dreams, and I know his too, is to one day be able to take that with whatever we've been able to build with ourselves and do a project where yeah. it's Some starring big, us. We bigger, wrote it. Yeah. It's like one of those comedic adventures, I guess. Yeah. With yeah. a little underlying action or something Dude, like that. Dude, I can that. see like, that. Yeah, that would we, be so we, we, yeah, we both love creating. Yeah. Like, we use TikTok as that platform. Uh, basically we have an instagram page too but yeah put all our videos mostly on tiktok and it was just in more hopes to like do something like because it's us like we're doing that we've created and that's like, yeah, yeah. Just something we've always wanted is just to like jake and do that. something cool yeah like yeah. something that yeah. we like we put our like minds and hearts yeah. into so yeah we love creating we love yeah it's being us that's yeah. why that's why it's called you know, do you yeah do you media. i love it and yeah. i love that you guys are yourselves you don't mm. give a fuck about the toxic masculinity no. and about what society tells you you are the weasels you are at heart and i yeah. fucking respect Bunch that of right beta, beta, beta but close to alpha beta but close to alpha no, yeah. i love pick that. on I me love. i won't stand up for myself i won't stand up for myself i'll touch my wiener when we say hi and i'll say thank you do it again that's how we fucking do it the story guys no being an alpha is too much fucking work i think being a beta is way way easier you know what i mean yeah. so yeah this goes out to all the you know aspiring betas there's out there. a chance we love for you, you. yeah <laughs> <laughs> look at I us i think no gen z the new gen z they say gen z th there's everything's changing with gen z you know like alphas the betas are the new alphas you know like straight oh, guys yeah, gen true. z are like would have been gay like this is our years time. Ago. so you know it's all changing it's yeah the world's changing. a hard time all right guys we're gonna eat some bone marrow now um, thanks so much for coming. I appreciate you guys. There you go. Thanks. Um, find those uh, gentlemen on, on Instagram. Put the handles down below. Uh, new episodes every single Thursday. We love you. Stay uncensored. Peace out. Thank you. <laughs>